There have been so many lies it's hard to keep track, but the most recent has done real harm to citizens in this country. This man, too frightened to show his face or use his name, says co-workers at his construction job have repeatedly asked him if he eats cats. Viles Dorseville, who runs a community center for Haitians, says many fled violence at home. I got a friend calling me asking me if he has to leave because he is scared for, for his life. There were a number of Haitian immigrants that I talked to who were scared to even go on camera because they're worried mm. that they're going to get harassed or targeted when they show their faces and tell people that they do not like these claims being spread. And when confronted on these lies, MAGA can't answer. This Donald Trump said that people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio. Why are you uh, changing the subject? This well, is, I, I be, because I want to... I Kamala Harris right no, now. No, I, I just want to know. I would love to know if you she, think he's losing touch with reality a little bit. Uh, no, absolutely not. Second of all... Because you saw it on TV? Second of all, the reality is she dodged every major policy question. No, but you're tonight. dodging this question. She did... What matters more to the American people? I'm asking you people are eating dogs and cats right. in Ohio. You're, you're, you're not, listen, I actually do care about what is happening to our country. Same, same. Do you want to answer or you want me to answer? You can go first. Okay. I actually care about what's happening to this country. Same. All right, next question. Thus, they run scared. Kudos to the good liars for checking them. But the president's made clear that he's not interested in continuing to build the while mile, uh, one mile, one stretch at a time. He wants to build the wall by getting the money now, just like the president was very clear about for the last but year, it, it leading looks, up to this funding fight. But, but he let, hasn't let's, let's received the, this. the right five now, billion. As we speak, he wants, right now, as we speak, he, there is a surge of illegal immigration heading towards our country that presents a national crisis now. Right, not right a month now, from now, though, not a year from now, right now. But, and this but, president took an oath, like every lawmaker in Congress, to defend the, the citizens of this country. How many more innocent people have to right, die Stephen, in pursuit of an open <laughs> borders agenda? Calm, calm down a minute. We don't have to yell. One of the kings of awkward Republicans Republicanism is this guy, an avowed white nationalist, Stephen Miller. What were your thoughts on the, the debate? And what are your thoughts on Democrats saying that Republicans are weird? It was a tremendous victory for President Trump. It was an incredible night. Victory on immigration, a victory on the economy, victory on inflation, victory on Afghanistan, victory on Ukraine. Really an incredible night for President Trump where he laid out his vision to the American people and really made her own the record of the last three and a half years. You, you evaded the weird question. No, I, wanna, I just wanna, don't want to harp on the weird thing because you know a lot of people have called, you, have, called you, have called you weird before. Um, and right now. But even before Tim nothing, Wall said it, like weirder. a lot of people have been nothing, calling you weird. How, how do you respond to that? People saying that you make them a, a little uncomfortable and that people kind of get uneasy when they're around you. Then nothing's weirder than giving tampons to boys, as Tim Walls did. You got that's actually that's actually not true. That as it was fact checked, that's actually not true. Anyway, so that's not true. We fact checked it, and he does make people very uncomfortable, and I was very uncomfortable when I talked to him. The good liars note this as well in the spin room from the debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Christy Nome speaking out in her first TV interview about fatally shooting her dog because she says the animal was untrainable. Many say the revelation torpedoed her chances of being Donald Trump's running mate, but Nome is calling the controversy fake news. Christy Nome is hitting back at the firestorm raging over her shooting her dog to death. She attacked me and it was a hard decision. The South Dakota governor tells Sean Hannity she had to put her dog Cricket down after the animal ate the neighbor's chickens and tried to bite her. And I had a choice between keeping my small children and other people safe or a dangerous animal, and I chose the safety of my children. Noam first made the revelation in her new autobiography, No Going Back. She said that, quote, I hated that dog. As you can imagine, this has caused quite a backlash. Noam, however, is sticking by this, defending herself, writing over the weekend. I can understand why some people are upset about a 20-year-old story of cricket one of the working dogs on our ranch, she said that her book is filled with many honest stories of my life, good and bad days, challenges, painful decisions, and lessons learned. Keep this in mind because Davram Stiefler is about to conduct an interview with the South Dakota governor. What did you think about the debate? Well, we still don't know what Kamala Harris would do if she was given the opportunity to be president. That's but what I think it was a fierce debate, learn. though, right? No, it wasn't. Well, would you say it was a dog fight? I would, no, I would say that the president 
President Trump did a fantastic job taking on three people at one time. Do you think either of them was put down by the other? Oh, I don't know. I, I wasn't worried about that. I'm worried about the American people and if they're going to find out who Kamala Harris really is. Uh, but if either of them were were put out of their misery on the debate stage, which one was it? Strange phrase. Sorry, I, I guess I was just wondering if you killed that dog. What are you talking about? Did you kill the dog? Oh my gosh, you're crazy. It has been so hard to get answers to any questions here. Sir, you're on the, the cord there. And she would like many others, dodge it. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Some hear his words as a call to action. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. We have to the Capitol building. Do the right thing. Take the Capitol. Who could forget the damage Trump supporters caused, including not just to the Capitol, but also to the lives of officers on the job who they claim to protect. Donald Trump is the nominee. And I want to ask you a question. I'm going to look deep into your eyes right now. In your heart of hearts, do you wish it was somebody else as the Republican nominee? We need a fighter. The country's in deep trouble. We need somebody who's going to go up to D.C. and fight like hell. And he's willing to do that. Are you you talking about January 6th and how how he he had the people storm the Capitol on January 6th? Well, Republicans... That's who. I'm not going to make it an issue. Well, Senator, will you commit to accepting the election results of 2024? Bottom line. Uh, well, uh, at the end of the day, the 47th president of the United States will be President Donald Trump. And I'm excited to give back to low inflation, low unemployment. Wait, wait, Senator, yes or no? Yes or no? Will you accept the election results of 2024 no matter who wins? That is my statement. But but is it just yes or no? Will you accept the election results of 2024? I I look forward to President Trump being the 47th president. Kristen, you can ask him multiple but times. Senator, but just a yes or no the answer. The so the American people, the, the American people will make the decision. But I don't hear you committing for President Trump. That's that clear. I don't hear you committing not, to the election see, here, results. Here's the challenge. Will you commit this, to accepting is, the election this is results? Why so many. This is why so many Americans believe that NBC is an extension of the Democrat Party. At the end of the day, I've said what I've said, and I know that the American people, their voices will be heard, and I believe that President Trump will be our next president. It's that simple. But, Senator, as you know, the hallmark of our democracy is that both candidates agree to a peaceful transfer of power. One of the most pathetic men in Congress, Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, knows they will not accept another loss, thus he cannot say it. What do you think of the debate? Uh, The three-on-one assault, President Trump did a really good job. Bottom line is simply this. Kamala Harris has had three years to do anything that she said she was going to do. None of it's been done. He still said the election was stolen, but even though it wasn't stolen, does that bother you that he wouldn't accept the results of an election? He continues to focus on what the American people want to talk about, which is their paychecks under the Harris... But he he won't accept accept the results of the election. The Biden-Harris administration, the average family has lost $1,000 a month. But this is a pretty simple question. Is it it not a problem that a candidate for president will not accept the results of a presidential election? I'm not going to debate you at all. It's not a debate. Joe Biden won. It's actually not a debate. Which continued in the spin room as well. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Now, if you can, please do become a channel member by going to youtube.com slash TYT sports and clicking the join button. If that's too much for you, you can just go to tyt.com slash join to become a member. It helps all of us out here at the Young Turks and keeps our network afloat. In addition, you could follow me on my socials on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate the love. Have a great day.